level and welcome to my channel dark city gaming today we are going to spectate one of the 4v4 game so we are starting this game a little bit late because uh, we joined this game a little bit late so we can see that the game is already progressed around six minutes and there's already an action so let me just give you the quick context why this is happening yeah, see? this is because uh, this is because you can see the map size. Map size is normal in this case, and when it is normal uh, map size, the border is quite close for different different uh, players. So that's why you can see that that each and individual players are getting more aggressive on the border. Okay. So let's take a look at the teams first. Then we will go back to what is happening around the map. So in the team one, we have four player. One player is the Cornelius. He is playing at the cops and I think he is not making any cavalry which means he is trying to boom. So when I say trying to boom that the player is not trying to be aggressive or he is trying to attack any other player, right? He's just trying to make sure that he phase up, collect resources and when you phase up, uh, after the phase 3 make the siege and then attack the nearest player. That's how the most of the gameplay the booming the duty works if we go to the second player we can see aslan uh, aslan is also playing as a gobs yeah, he's quite an aggressive player i'm not seeing many cavalry from his side but uh, normally he's a quite an aggressive player he usually go for early races and try to break the economy of the opponent players but i think he's trying to play defensive this particular time and I know I think most of the time the Gauls had introduced the fanatics and the fanatics the cost actually been reintroduced the cost is it cost only food and wood right so I think he might be going for that he trying to do the economy phase up I think at the minute he trying to phase up and first phase two we will most likely to uh, see fanatic rush let's see what it does we have some time the next player in the team burn is Muhak playing as Patalmes. Yes, see? So I think he's already under pressure. Yes, see? He's yes, already pressed by the Havran. Havran has quite a strong position and, and he has denied his mines. But I think it should be fine because he already have extra sources. Yes, see? Extra resources. As you can see, he's already reaching out to the spiritual mine. And for the metal, he also got the extra. Yes. Um, extra mine there so it should not be a problem for him but again this is quite difficult that early on the resources closest to your civic centers are getting tower so it creates a problem uh it creates a problem um the next player and the final player in okay so the final player in this is uh i am good playing as i am good playing as ivarians so I think he is doing pretty decent. I think he is the highest population in the game. That is quite an impressive play. He is border in this case. I think he also playing defensively making towers to make sure in case someone uh, someone is trying to rush him because he is a border right and the map size is normal. So if someone try to rush him, he will simply defend by garrisoning the tower and so on. So which is I think quite important. Now let's go back. I think. Uh, Muha is dropped off. Not sure if it's a rage quit or what, because we can already see he is quite low pop compared to Habran who is rushing him, right? So I think that's the discussion going on that why he dropped. I can basically given the condition, given how he is, not sure he's going to drop off. He might join back, um, but I think he is doing quite bad compared to the Habran who is rushing him both by the cavalry as well as towering him towering his resources now coming back to team 2 the first player bc sir humphrey he has a population of 114 which is quite a high population i would say he might have different account as well so in gnd you can frequently find out that players have multiple accounts uh, and they are normally tagged as smurfs so that is the terms for them I think quite frequently happens. So I can consider given that we have highest rated player 1850 and he's like out booming the 1850 player, he most like to be the 
play around 1700 rating. Playing as Carthaginians. The next player in the team 2, we have a stock face, rated as 1850, one of the top 100 players in the 0 AD. Um, playing as Patalmes. The third player is Havran, which is, I think, uh, doing great against uh, against Mohawk. We already touched him, and I think he because of because of that he already have the population. Uh, okay, the fourth player, the team two, we have Thief playing as Carthaginian again, and he had follow some unusual strategy of making yeah. farms not close to the civic center but far from the civic center. Yes, and I think he already have quite decent amount of food, so he moved his movements on the uh, food to work, which is I think fine. And given the population 98, uh, second lowest in the game, I would say he's a decent player, and he has a rating of 1400. So let's take a look what's happening. Yeah, now, see? okay, Cornelius decide to do cavalry, the lead cavalry. Most of the people what they do they go for 9 to 10 farms. Let's see how many farms he has made. He has made 10 farms. And if I look especially with Cornelius, he has 50 women on food. So I think I decided to go for the cavalry. We can already see two stables from uh, two stable from Cornelius. Let's see who is going to raid. The nearest border DST? for the Cornelius is Havran. DST? Which uh, I don't think this DST? is a good idea DST? to raid this position because most of them are DST? melee units. And melee units are quite dangerous actually for the cavalry, DST? if you are not able to retrieve faster. Here, DST? okay, he already only have melee, so this will be a disaster for him, but again, he has to make sure that he not get stuck, the cavalry does not get stuck, right. So it's not a good idea to not retrieve faster, you have to retrieve faster, even if you are fighting with the cavalry. And given DST? cavalry has high turnaround time, like they have to Turn around time when I when I say high turnaround time is that when you change the direction of any cavalry they take lots of time uh, to turn around and catch to their normal speed right. So I think this is a good move. DST. And DST. This is distracting Sharhampi uh, free as well. And he's going DST? to lose all the archers. I'm not sure why he's even taking the fight. DST? The range units are quite vulnerable to melee units. And again, we can see that the sword can mostly eliminate surround uh, three units. Let's see what he's doing here. I think he sat the rally point DST? there, so all the caps are idle caps are trash there. Meanwhile, he's trying to raid surround uh, three economy. Uh, does he have auto train? I'm not sure he hasn't turned the auto train. But I think the auto train feature in the GROD is quite useful when you are distracted somewhere else. You can use auto train feature so make sure your corals or the barracks are training always, right? So I think this is a decent move. He will yeah, do great if he try not to lose the unit, try not to lose the yeah, cab and keep raiding the economy. That will be great for uh, DST? DST? That will be great for DST? Okay, he now raiding Stockfish which is not going to work because he's outnumbering him uh, very much so he need to retrieve his cab. Yes, yeah, That's what you're doing. So this is the action that is happening on this border. Uh, what is happening here? Yes, Okay, so... Yes, Okay, so Havran, is Havran phase 2 He's going phase 2, he's not phase 2 yet. And DST? we see Mohawk uh, made DST? a move and Havran is in quite a difficult situation. Let's see how many units does Havran have. Mm -hmm. Havran has 90 units, which is more than enough unit I would say. And given he's fighting with Winter Tower, this is a bad call from Mohawk because the towers we constantly fire on the unit even if they are not fighting right DST? if they are in the range and uh DST? range unit get damaged pretty fast when that happens so muhak is doing pretty good move trying to move away from DST? the towers and then fight right yes 
and I'm not sure why Havran is chasing, he should not be chasing him. Therefore, but I think this is fine. ESC? How many units does he have? ESC? He have 46 units. ESC? Muak is quite outnumbered, he shouldn't be taking this fight. Yep, he shouldn't be taking this fight, he should retreat. Simply retreat. He only one where I can, he not auto training in that. Okay, this is really bad for. Okay, Havran is not fighting back for some reason. ESC? He lost. Many units. DST. Mm. So DST. we see what units are quite damaged. I think he should make temple then should I win. Then, then he should take fight because the units are getting DST. damaged and DST. they are quite low health. DST. 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 And slingers have lower DST. damage compared to skirmish units. Which is also the case. I think he's DST. doing quite good. Trying to wait Havran to come close to the yes, civic see? center so his civic center can fire on his units. Let's take a look at the other side. Oh, okay. Now, yes, see, yes, see, yes, see. Cornelius came with the cab, and now I'm not sure what yes, could happen to Havran, but he can take, still yes, can take see? fire. I'm not sure why he can't. He can, yeah. Yes, so once bait in all the cavalry, in, he can take the fight, but again, this is bad. If you're retrieving the units, then this is yes, good. But I think melee unit yes, will do great against Havran here and he also yes, outnumbered. See? If I look at Havran unit, it's only Havran unit. He has 43. Okay, number is dropping quite fast. Yes, but he should be fine. Yes, in respect of yes, that. See? But again, this is a bad yes, fight see? for him. If someone does not help him, he will be quite dead. Yes, see? Okay. So Humphrey came to help him, which is yes, again see? good idea. You need to help your brother, otherwise he was pretty outnumbered. Uh, let's yes, take see? a look at the population. Cornelius has 141, Havran has 81, Muhak is now ahead of Havran. Sir Humphrey is 199. So Sir Humphrey, Sir Humphrey Humphrey has advantage in that case. I'm not sure he going. He trying to make mercenary cavalry, which is I think good idea. Mercenary cavalrys are always a kind of overpower if you make them. If you are able to mask them, not make them, but mask them also. Right? Yes. What's happening here? Why? Okay, you can take fight. Yeah, you can take fight. It is yes, fine. Yes, see? He is outnumbering him pretty well, so he can definitely take point. Here, yes, uh, Muak is, yes, is getting pushed. Which is, I think he should take this fight. Yes, His see? units are really low health. And yes, with see? the range of archers, yes, uh, Swampri can easily snipe the units. So he shouldn't take this fight at all. You simply repeat either garrison in the barrack or the city center. What is happening this side? Uh, we do not see any action. It's mostly a defensive one. Uh, um, I'm good at making the seeds. Is he phase 3 yeah? He's not in phase 3. Okay, I think the stock has to make a move early. He's quite late uh, to attack given he's a high strategy player. Um, Let's see what is happening here. Uh, is he yeah, making no. fanatics? He yeah, had made temples, yeah, and yep, yeah. as you can see, he's making fanatics. But it's quite late in the game. But compared to normal melee units, fanatics are quite overpowered. Okay, what is happening here? Yes, see. He is still taking fights yeah, with big slingers, which is yeah, not a good see? idea. Archers can easily target them and snipe the units and also tower is, tower and tower is also helping him to do so what yes, is see? sir humphrey doing yes oh, he missed click he missed click definitely missed click he shouldn't get that close because he will come to the fire range of civic center mostly and i'm not sure what yes, i was see? thinking but i think it might be missed click what is happening here we see the yes, cavalry are being chased away. 
and he going to lose all the archers now. Yes, see. Pretty bad for him. Okay, let's see what is happening here. Yes, see. No action at all. Siege is coming, and I think he. This game is done. I believe this game is done because. Uh. Yeah. Stop is waiting for all the upgrades, which yes, is see? I'm not sure why he doing so. Because his ally will be dead soon. And given yes, see? he's going for fanatics, even if this is not Alpha 25 where the pike where pikes, what all I mean pikes can hold two armies. In Alpha 26 the pikes are already nerfed. So I'm not sure why he waited for so long. Let's see what happens, but I the outcome that I most likely to see, the outcome we most I most like to see is that uh, he will lose most of the building. I'm not sure he will lose this big center because yes, he yes, has see? spare units and let me check if he has any upgrade on them. Does he have upgrade on them? He does not. But still I think one gram will not be able to take down uh thief and given stock is making finally making the move with all the upgrades i can see able to fight let me check the armory upgrades yeah yeah most of the armory upgrades and so on let's see what is happening here so yes Havron is trying to defend he is taking the tower upgrades he's not taking this particular upgrade for this tower yes which is fine i think I'm uh, not sure what is happening here. The barrack will be lost. He should either delete the barrack, which is quite close to Mohawk territory, and he might be able to capture it. And our run is not faced here. Yeah. Let's see what is happening here. Yes, yes, okay. Yes, the fanatics are ruling now. Yes, I'm not sure why he is launching his melee cap to yes, fanatics. Yes, yes, Weird. Why? I'm not DSD? sure. DSD? They have quite. I'm not sure they might have extra damage to cavalry. Yeah, you can see 3x versus cavalry, so you never run into fanatics or any other million units. So you can see uh, Aslan is already. DSD? Okay. They have finally tried to bend together and try to attack. Now this is a wrong chase. Keep so retrieve because I will fortress it. It's kind of overpowered if I have to say so. They have higher health and of course the arrow from the arrow from the uh, fortress will also hurt his units. So yeah, then he made a good move to retrieve. And the units are quite divided here. I'm not sure how many units does one stock is have here. Yes. Let me just remove all the units and only stock is units. Oh, not many. That is a decent amount, not too many units. And given his units are divided, yeah, they are going to sandwich him. What is happening here? Yes. Oh, okay. So. Yes. See. Cornelius abandoned his ally. As you can see, I went into the lie and uh, yes, see? trying to send with the stockfish. Given the stockfish has no eco at home, if he loses all his units, it will be game over for him. And once this flank, this particular flank is out of the game, they can focus on other flank and take on outnumbered fight, right? Yes, yeah. So let's look at the population. Mohawk is 101 population. Havran is 142, so Havran recovered quite fast. And I think uh, Mohawk should focus on economy now because it's quite late in the game. Yes, if see? someone comes with a siege, he will be pretty, uh, pretty dead. Okay, yes, see? let's take a look what's happening here. So, okay, yes, see? they yes, see? ganged up on Stockfish. Yes, and now since yes, this is one v one versus yeah. I'm group and Thief, Thief does not have strong unit, yes, archers are quite weak already. And Thief has 97 units only. While I'm group is almost to population. So we can see that oh, uh, yeah. Thief will go down sometime. Maybe it will take two or three minutes. He need I'm group need more seeds. Once he have more seeds, he will be able to take down 
you will be able to take down thief easily, right? Uh, the other side, if I look at here, yes, what's see? happening? Um, seeing there's some dispute here. So I think even if Mohawk is out of the game, even if uh, Mohawk is out of the game, the team won should be able to win because they I'm going to be able to do his job to clean him up and post that he can hold stocks easily. DST? Okay. DST? Mohawk has joined back and trying to do his economy DST? again. We should be fine. DST? DST? I'm not sure why uh Shah Humphrey not making archers plus short can you can easily target the B uh, yes, slingers while Harbor yes, can take front on fight, right? But he's keeping Harbor and other flank at bay, which is a good play from him. Even if he's not phasing up, even if yes, not see? doing the economy, keeping the other flank at the bay is, I think, a pretty decent play from his side. Uh, but I think he ran out of the board. He does not have any other source of the board, only one source of the board. This is fine, I think. Let me take a look at the resources. He has enough resources. I think any water, uh, some stone from the food or what. What is happening this side? Yep, he's going down. Oh, yeah. He's definitely going down. I think stock, what Stockfish can try to do is maybe pop up first. Try to reclaim his population because he's quite low, 124. Once he has his population back, can try to defend the side and delay as much as possible when other side, for example, Harun and uh, Harun and uh, Sir Humphrey uh, will DSD? take down DSD? DSD? will take down this uh, other side. Let's see what, how this unfolds. But I most likely DSD? see Thief to go down. He made some cavalry, a melee cap, a short cap. But I think he shouldn't be losing DSD? just to take down one ram. It's a stupid play. Yeah, it's a really stupid play. Like the ram will come to a civic center if they want to take down the uh, take down the civic center. DSD? They will not be focusing on barracks at once. They might get there, but again, civic center will still remain a crucial building for him. And based on that, till the time stop is pop up. He just need to hold his civic center, right? But I think he lost all his sword cap, which is uh, not good. It's a bad play from his side. Let's see what is happening here. DSD? Okay, this is messed up. DSD? He did not focus. DSD? DSD? Cornelius did not focus like where he's going. And he ran into the DSD? valley cap. And we can see the disaster already. DSD? He DSD? lost many caps. DSD? Just Yes, yeah, yeah, that would have been fine. I think that's what you're trying to yeah, do. See? You're trying to sandwich. Yes, yeah, yeah, this will work. This will work fine. Okay, how run is phase three. If you can make like four ramps, you can easily take down this side. That's what he should be doing. We can yeah, see yeah, now see? they have. Uh, now they are. Jointly attacking Sir Humphrey, which is again good play. Okay, what is happening here? Yes, see? Fanatic rush from. Yep, this makes center will go down. They have nothing. Yes, see? Stop us, will do. Once this side is down, and they might improve the economy on. Yes, see? Stop us. The DSD, DSD. Aslan can again go back and harass their economy or simply take a fight, right? DSD. But they, the, this joint attack is working quite great for them. DSD. I mean, they, even though Harvard did pretty well early on in the game, they did not combine their forces or they did not attack jointly. If they try to attack jointly, the Mohawk will be dead by now. But DSD, I think DSD? the best play DSD? is from Mohawk as well as from Cornelius that they're trying to 
attack jointly and taking the fight. That's how it works. And that's how you're supposed to do, right? That's how you're supposed to take the yeah, fight. You should not be taking one versus two fight, losing all the units and nothing comes out of it, right? So that's not how you're supposed to do it. Okay, let's see what is happening here. Um, they are getting pushed back, which is will yeah, be the case see? because yeah, I think see? he Shrahamfuri is trying to run into cavalry with the melee units. Which is a good flip from him. That's how it's supposed to do, right? Since cavalry has high turnaround time, once they charge in, they won't be able to push back faster. Yeah, see? This is again good combined yeah, play, see? but pretty light. Here yeah, we can see. Yeah, see? Uh, yeah, see? Aslan is trying to raid with the fanatics, which is rampaging their economy. Yes, this side see? again getting pushed back. Let's see what's yes, happening see? with the stock fest. Yes, he has around yes, how many see? units does he have? 100 units? How many units yes, does see? I'm Root has? 117. That's more units, okay. I think Aslan should yes, help see? him. Yes, see? At least. Uh, yes, see? Till most of the stockfish units, so they can actually go half the side. Let's see what happened here. This is kind of messed up. I'm not sure why he charged into melee units with his cavalry. Not even to find out what exactly happening here. But yeah, let's yeah, see, see how many caps. Skirmish caps are alive. He should now back off. Trying to fight by distance, which is he doing? DST, DST. Mark is still keeping his slingers alive, which is <laughs> again quite impressive. He's been fighting with his slingers for so long. He should DST? now back off. Shouldn't take this fight. I was expecting. I was expecting Harold to make some cavalry, so I make some rams and uh, take down his silver center, but I'm not sure why not doing so. He's. This flank is totally exposed. He hardly has any units. He just need to make two ramps and run into his big center and defend those ramps with maybe 30-40 units. Yes, He's getting pushed back. Let's see what is happening. Okay. Yes, fanatics. See? Here come the fanatics. Yes, see? High health units. I don't think. This is the end yes, for... Uh... Why, why is it raging? Yes, he should be yes, helping see? it. I'm not sure what happened yes, here, but he yes, should be retreating. Yes, but Tarwan mostly left the slingers yes, and skirmish units and here yes, comes see? melee yes, caps see? as well as the units. So, yes, yeah, I can expect that most of the unit will be lost here. Yes, see? Let's see what is happening here. Yes, see? Okay. I think he's not taking the fight. Uh, Stop is not taking the fight unless he gets his pop right, which is a good play from yes, his side. See? That's what he's supposed to do. Should not take the fight until you have a decent number, otherwise you will be out number and you will lose all your units. Yes, see? Yes, see? As you can see, now yes, I'm see? dead. I'm not sure yes, why see? he did not do the ramming part. Again, might be misplay, might not have thought of because on the heat of the game. Yes, see? This side is pretty much done. Do we have how many units does he have? It's 49 units. Yes, okay. See, Mostly boomers. He is not making any units because he does not have any resources, does not have resources for Civic Center as well. Neither does it ally. So we can consider Thief out of the game. This game is already 3v4. Stockfish again doing pretty good. Yes, see? Actually popping up. And he can take the fight one. Yes, see? see outnumbered him. Yes, much. See? yes see? Okay, he's going to lose. Let's see how many units. He has around 69 units. Let's see how many he takes. Oh my life. Let, uh, my guess will be 40 units. It can be lower. I'm not sure how many, but mostly 40 units. What is happening here? He's training the fanatics again. What is happening here? Big temple now. Okay, everyone, I'm still expecting some rams trying to take down these buildings rather than attacking them 
outnumbered, which is not a good play. Now what? Okay, I'm good at pause for some reason. Hmm. Maybe some conversation between Aslan and uh, is going on. Uh, okay, so he's asking for how to trap. Basically, I think he want to heal the low health units. Which I think should everyone should be doing that rather than charging in with low health units that will die if they get ultimate damage. Well, try to heal those units because they also have the experience. They also do more damage, so don't they also do more damage. So don't try to lose them. Just try to heal them. Dst. 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 Okay. Yes, see? What is happening here? We have so many fanatics. I mean, he is going heavy on the fanatics. How many units does he have on the TST? A decent amount of units on food and food. TST? And resources. My god, he has quite a good amount of food. How much? Let's try to take more food. Okay. Okay. Alright, is finally getting siege box off. TST? Okay. Okay, let's see what is happening here. No, it's not gonna work. Well, just try to go face the man. Yeah, That's see? the only way you can find it or get some melee units out of the colony. Try to make a colony here so you will be able to defend it. But I think Cornell is really able to help it. He just yeah, wants to up the cavalry. Look at that number. Is it uh, Popcat? I'm not sure. Yeah, he has. He's not phase 3 here, right? Just trying to play phase 2. I'm not sure why. Does he have any upgrade? Does he not have any upgrades? That's not a way to play the game because if you do not have upgrade, your cavalry will lose, will lose to normal units. So if you look at the hard run, he has most of the units. He will lose all his cavalry to normal units if he does not have armory upgrades. What is... You don't. DST? Okay. DST? So stop is trying to now decided to make a move because he DST? has full population. I think he should why I'm good at He should take the fight and just attack the damn units because he's not DST? in one place. DST? DST? He's losing units. Okay. DST? I mean, trying to block him, but yes, with what? How yes, many yes, fight yes, agents? 65 pikes. No, yes, here is yes, 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 36 slingers. Just take the damn fight, man. Kill all of these units. He's marching. He's not in one place. Yes, it's a wrong see? play from I'm yes, good see? He's not able to judge yes, the situation. See? Just attack the damn units. Yes, yes, Just kill those. DST? Else you DST? will lose the units. DST? DST? Yep, he finally decided to take action. DST? DST? It's really hard to see what is actually exactly happening. Yeah, let's snipe those slingers. DST? Let's snipe the skirmish units and you will be fine. DST? Yes, see. If uh, oh, he has so many well, you know, he should make a temple and try to kill those. Let's see what is happening again. <laughs> Good move from the car. Uh, from Cornelius. Let's see what Havran is trying to do. Is he making some ramps? Four oh, ramps. Too late, but I'm gonna make him. DST? 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 Let's see if he's going to help or not. DST? DST? Okay, DST? he can do all those bikes. Uh, stock is DST? distracted. 
My god, he should not be taking this fight. DST? 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 Let's see what he does. Fort is gone, for sure. There's no saving of the fort. Let's see what he is trying to do here. Yes, he? Yes, he. Does he have all the upgrades? Does Havran have all the upgrades? He's getting, he's getting upgrades. I was expecting more from Sir Humphrey because he had higher population. Yes, I'm not sure why he's not able to do so. Now he's trying yes, to raid with some. Yes, he? Oh, that's not you. If he can raid yes, the he? full economy. Yeah, that will do. That yeah, will do definitely do. Ford is gone. Market is gone. And there's yeah, these units are also gone. Okay. Yeah, what is see? happening here? Since he has upgrades again, as yeah, I said, see? he might be able to capture all yeah, the things he might be able to do, but it's not going to work. Oh yeah. DST. One 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 units. DST. One one three units. Good one. DST. Yeah. Oh yeah. But he had them. Yeah. And in the tower, let's see how that's going to work out for. Uh, Avram, let's see how the fight goes. I think again. DST. Cornelius will rush in to help. DST. He's on the pickle. DST. DST. How many upgrades does he have? On the melee units. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. While Cornelius does not have any. TST. Let's see how does it go. You yeah, should be see? able to take down yeah, the how many units have? 53. That's low, still low. Avran should try to snipe those yeah, things. See? He does not have melee. Units. The pikes will be disaster for him. Oh, he yeah, trying see? to charge yeah, in. See? Bad move. Yes, see? Yeah, these will do the trick. The rams will do the trick. Yes, see? Hey, slimers are not getting sniped though. Yes, see? Okay, he lost the performance. Yes, see? Okay, my level fell. Yes, see? Yes, see? Or how many fanatics are there? See? Yes, see? Again. Uh, Stop is taking decent fight again. I yes, think. See? Uh, should back off. Yes, see? Yes, see? Yes, see? They are pretty outnumbered yes, by the Stoffers. Yes, yes, see? I think the bear fight is needed actually. I think Thief is a giant, that's one clear down. Yes, see? What is happening here? Our run is dead, pretty much dead. Yes, see? He has yes, so many see? sword cavalry, so. These rams are also gone. Consider those rams gone. Yes, see. Yes, see. I think Haran should try to save few ram at least. That should serve him. Yes, see. It's not going to work. Out, right. They retrieve, which does make sense. Yep. I think Haran is going to resign. Yes, see. This hero, how much damage they do? 14.3, that's insane compared to a normal sphere which does 2.8 damage. What do you have to hear? DST. Capturing stuff. DST. DST. You don't really oh, care yeah. about this. He's simply rushing into units and so on. Which is fine, I think they are already winning the game, so they just have to delay the other side. Okay. Oh, yeah. DST? Let's see, have good amount of units. Switch center will go down. DST? Yep. He resigned. DST? The rams will go down in some time. It's gonna be easy for you. Player. Oh my god, did you get to know the houses? DST? DST? Okay. DST? Okay. Even if Stockers try to push without ramps, he will not be able to do anything. 
He has fortified his position with towers, uh, with port, and you can also see this momentum. Uh, this moment, this moment will help him uh, to increase the attack of his units. Okay. Now, Sir Humphrey is trying to run along, trying to get us in the civic center. This is fine. I think. DST? <laughs> DST? I think let's still try to take down the civic center. DST? But so it's fine, I guess. DST? DST? I'm not sure if he's able to do it. These uh, fanatic does not have that of high enemies. They have DST? a damage, but they do not have that high damage. Let's see. Let's see what is happening. Uh, he's retrieving. DST? I don't think the stock was able to do anything at all. Um, what's happening here? The ramps are pretty much stuck, so then stuck in path finding. So is, is he going to lose the civic center to Gaia? I think he will. Yes, see? I think he will. Yes, see? What is he doing? Yes, see? Eh, whatever. This game is pretty much over. Yes, see? Uh, yes, see? Yes, see? So many fanatics, how many yes, fanatics see? does Afran has anyway? Sorry, yes, see? Yes, uh, see? Afran has anyway. I don't think normal pipe will stand a chance. Yes, look at the damage. Keep on four. Look yes, at the damage see? here. 14.3 and yes, give him the see? hero. Right? Oh, yeah. The civic center will go down. Yes, it will. Yes, see? Yeah. Yes, mm, see? Let's see. Yes, see? Okay, you still have so many fanatics left. Yeah. Is he going to lose all the movements to two fanatics? I doubt. Yes, see? Yes, see? And it's quite possible. The rooms are quite weak in this particular game. They dodge only two damage. Yep. Sort of upgrade down. Now only the stock is left. He does not have any ramps DST? or any seeds. DST? And he's rolling DST? along with 139 units. This base quite exposed because Aslan will be able to take down his big center with fanatics only. And we see DST? more fanatics coming. So this will be around how many fanatics it will be? DST? 89 fanatics. That's a lot. DST? DST? And, yeah. In more than 50, he should get us in the civic center. This fortress. Because DST? DST? Stock decided to raid Aslan instead. Ah, uh, he did not notice yet. Right, I think Stock is really rude. Huh, he has noticed. DST? DST? Yes, see? What are you trying to do? Is, is he trying to yes, uh, retreat? I don't think there's any chance to retreat. Yes, Even see? if he go back, he will not be able to much. Yes, see? Okay, he's trying to make colony here. Yes, see? Not sure what he's trying to achieve there, but okay. Yes, see? As soon as take down the civic center, man. That's the only thing he left with. Yes, see? Yes, see? Okay, he's going to get sandwich, I guess. Yes, see? He's going to get sandwich. This is going to be one before game. Oh, yeah. So we yes, see, see it's two units coming this way. Yes, see? Six units more here. 127 units from him. Yes, I'm see? not contributing right now, yes, but see? I think he will. And we will see peace. Yes, see? Are totally DST? exposed, totally exposed. Even if he does send bike, he will lose of the skirmish units. Yeah, this is, I DST? think, long stand. We will see here. Stop this. DST? I'm not sure he's going to join or not. That's a different DST? story, but this game is pretty much over. Yeah, see? Corner is playing smart again, trying to move his short cap further. So they are not exposed in a while, the skirm. Yes, see? 
engineers are still trying yeah, to do see? damage to his units. Yeah, see? Which is a smart move. Yeah, see? Yes. Yeah, the slingers see? are quite exposed now. He can attack the slingers and try to take them down. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? And here comes the fanatics. Yeah, yeah, see? Yeah, see? Does he have to fight as well? Yep, he does have to fight. So Aslan got all the upgrades for fanatics, including the hero, which is lost number. Okay. Yeah, see? So I don't think he will go yeah, for long. This is yeah, the end. Yeah, see? Okay, I think even if players not rejoining, we can close the game now.